Hello everyone. Welcome to the Getting Started tutorial of Zoho Contracts, the contract lifecycle management software of Zoho. I'm Arjun and in this video, I will walk you through the setup process of Zoho Contracts. The page that you see on my screen right now is the Create Organization page. This is the first page that you will be taken to after you log into your Zoho account by going on to contracts.zoho.com. If you do not have a Zoho account yet, you can create a new one by going on to accounts.zoho.com and clicking sign up. To create a new organization in Zoho Contracts, enter your organization details in the Create Organization page. Provide a unique URL for your organization and choose the currency in which you conduct your business. Please be careful when you enter your URL and your currency because once you save these values, you will not be able to edit them. When you click on Save and Continue, your organization will get successfully created and you will be taken to the Zoho Contracts app. In the prompt that appears on the screen, select Let's Get Started. The Getting Started Wizard will guide you in quickly configuring your Zoho Contracts account. In this video, we will cover the first three steps of the Getting Started process. The first step is to add your organization info. You can also reach this page by selecting the admin tab at the top. Enter your organization details in the fields available in the organization info page. The address information that you enter here will be used as the default address in your contracts. To save the values that you have entered in the organization info page, click update. After you've added the organization info successfully, the next step is to connect your Zoho Contracts account with Zoho Sign account. You need to do this to be able to send your contracts for legally binding signatures from within Zoho Contracts. Zoho Sign is the e-signature software of Zoho. When you click Connect, your Zoho Contracts account will be connected to your Zoho Sign account. If you do not have a Zoho Sign account, a new Zoho Sign account will be automatically created with the same organization name and you will be added as an administrator. After you add the organization info and connect your Zoho Contracts account with Zoho Sign, the next step is to invite users to your Zoho Contracts account. To invite users, select users from the list of admin settings. In the Users page, click Invite User at the top right. Enter the details of the user that you want to invite in the Invite User dialog box. Enter the email address of the user. Select the role that you want the user to have and click Send. When you click Send, an email invitation will be sent to the user and the user can click the link in the email to join your org in Zoho Contracts. Once you have completed these three basic setup steps, you are good to go ahead and create your first contract in Zoho Contracts. To create a contract, select the Contracts tab at the top and then click New Contract at the top right. Enter the details of the contract in the New Contract form. Choose the contract type from the Contract Type field. There are 14 predefined contract types along with the contract templates in Zoho Contracts. You can also create new contract types and build your own contract templates. We will cover this in a separate video in detail. Enter the title of the contract. Choose the counterparty with whom you enter into the agreement from the counterparty name field. As we do not have any counterparties added yet, click Add New Counterparty. Enter the organization or the individual's name. Choose the counterparty type and then click Add. Similarly, add the counterparty primary contact. You can also add and manage the counterparties and the counterparty contacts from the counterparties module at the top. 
select whether the contract term is definite or indefinite. In the contract effective date field, if you choose on execution, the contract will become active as soon as both the parties sign the agreement. If you choose on specific date and select a date, the contract will become active on the specific date after both the parties sign the contract. After you have entered the details in the new contract form, click save and continue. As the app loads the contract template, I will quickly introduce you to the other modules available in Zoho Contracts. The dashboard consists of different widgets that provide you a high level overview of your contracts. The activities module lists all your contract approvals and your contract obligations. Reports. There are 30 plus standard reports in Zoho Contracts. They extract and present your contract data based on different aspects of contract management. As you can see, the app loads the contract template and it also automatically fills the values that we have already provided in the contract fields available in the template. With this, we have come to the end of the video. I hope this tutorial was helpful. In case you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you.